Hey everyone, today we're making my zippity doo da red hot spicy sweet chicken wings. Now the sauce for this is homemade. I'm using some dried peppers, but the important thing is, is that the peppers are about medium heat. All right, if you wanna make it super spicy and hot, you can do that by adding more, or you can tone it down and add a little less. But I got it right about the middle. And the thing about these peppers are that they have nice flavor. It's not just hot, it's also flavorful. Now we're getting our sweetness into this recipe by using date paste. And that adds some nice flavor in and of itself and it cuts back on just you know regular sugar and this sauce can also be used on other dishes so make a double batch you can use it on you know grilled hamburgers chicken steak uh, anything you like even scrambled eggs would be great if you like a little heat on your food this is the sauce you got to try so i'm rockin robin and i'm going to show you how to make it right after this Before we get started on our recipe, I just wanted to mention that if you are interested in healthy and delicious recipes, that's what we do here all the time. They're delicious. I always care about the ingredients that I put in my recipes because I eat the stuff and I like to eat healthy. So if that resonates with you, go ahead and show us some love. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be notified every week when my new videos come out. So let's go over our ingredients. All right, first up we have our chicken wings. You buy these at the store and let me unveil them here for you. I have them on a tray with paper towels underneath and on top because we wanna get as much moisture out of them as we can so that they will crisp up in the oven. When you cut them, you wanna cut them in two places. So you cut them at the very tip of the wing. We're gonna cut that off. We're just gonna save that for chicken stock. If you wanna make that later, you can do that. Save it, I put mine in the freezer. And then you're gonna cut it again between what's this, you know, right at the base of the, the leg there. And then you just put them on a tray and just make sure that they're nice and dry before we, you know, spice them up. Next up is our chili peppers. Now these are called hapones and they're dried. So what we have to do with these before we can use them is we have to put them in a saucepan, cover them with water, put a lid on them and boil them or simmer them for about 45 minutes. That'll soften them up and then we can use them and blend them in the blender. Next up we have dates. Make sure you get pitted dates so that you don't have to spend the time to take the pit out of each one because we're going to be putting these in the blender as well and we want to have those pits out of there. We'll need some tomato paste, apple cider vinegar, some molasses, smoked paprika, regular paprika, pumpkin spice, granulated garlic, some butter, I'm using Kerrygold butter here. We'll need some baking powder, salt, and some avocado oil. You can use uh, maybe olive oil too. If you don't have avocado oil, that'll be a nice substitute. All right, so I'm gonna give you a little overview here of what we're doing. Uh, uh, chicken wings are gonna take about an hour in the oven to cook, to crisp up. But in the meantime, we gotta cook our sauce. Now the dates need to be softened up so that they will blend in the blender. So we're gonna take, I'm gonna make a little extra because I like to use dates in other recipes. But I've got my dates in a, in a pan here. I'm gonna add some water. We're gonna put it on the stove and simmer it with a lid for about 30 minutes. It'll soften it up so we can then put it in the, in the Vitamix and blend it up to make our sauce. Okay, so on to our chicken wings. All right, what I've got here, like I said, I've got a, a nice uh, a baking sheet here lined with foil for easy cleanup and a rack. So you wanna use the rack so that the oven temperature, the, the air can circulate around the chicken and crisp it all the way around. So that's important to use. All right, so we're gonna take a Ziploc bag and I'm gonna add some baking powder to this along with a little bit of salt. I'm gonna mix that up and some paprika. So I'll add that to the bag. And then you wanna kinda just shake that up a little bit before we add the chicken. Now the baking powder is going to help crisp up the chicken, all right? There's just something about the chemical reaction there, I'm gonna add a little more paprika, that makes it uh, crisp up and it works really well. So we're just gonna do that as soon as I get this mixed up. You wanna mix it up first because that way you don't get clumps of it in certain spots and then you don't get it in other spots. Now my oven's preheated now to 425. And as soon as I shake this up, then we're gonna place each piece of chicken on the wire rack and in the oven it goes. And we'll probably turn them over about after 30 minutes, about halfway through. Seal up your bag and just give it a nice toss. And this will lightly coat all of your chicken. 
and you want to place the chicken skin side up to begin with. Alright, so it's been about 25 minutes. Let's check our dates. You can see what they look like. They're in here simmering. They feel nice and soft. I think those are good enough. So I'm going to pour them. I have a little strainer right here and another dish. And I'm going to pour this mixture right through the strainer. So now that the dates have cooled a bit, we're going to place them right into a Vitamix mixer. You'd want to use a high speed blender for this if you have one because it works way better. And then we'll add just enough of the juice that I have over here. Put that over here so you can see it to, you know, liquefy it. And it's a little bit, you know, if you don't have too much in there, which we don't have too much, it is a little hard to mix, but we just push it down as we go. All right, so mix that up until you get a nice creamy paste. All right, so this is how it turns out. Let me show you this. Let me see if I can pour it out here. So it's time to have a look at our chicken wings. Here they are. After about 35 minutes, they're ready to be turned over. We'll put these back in and check them in 10 minutes. It is now time to put everything in the blender and then we're gonna mix up our sauce and then we're gonna put it in the saucepan and heat it on the stove so that way it's nice and hot when we add it, add our chicken to it, okay? So here we go. Now, we're gonna start with our peppers. Remember, this is where you can uh, adjust the heat if you like. Now, I cooked mine yesterday, actually, so they're ready to go, and I like to go with about a half a cup. And remember, guys, you can get the written recipe down below in the description of this video. Click where it says, show more. A lot of people ask me that. And that's where it is, along with all kinds of other information. So I'm gonna go with about a half a cup. I might take one or two off of the peppers. All right, so with the puree, I'm gonna go with about three quarters of a cup. All right, that goes into the blender. Tomato paste, put that in there. This is the molasses going in. Okay, we're gonna put just a pinch of our pumpkin spice. We don't wanna overpower this. We just want a hint of it so the flavors come through. It's about an eighth of a teaspoon. Our smoked paprika for that nice smoky flavor. And of course, we gotta have our garlic powder. I love garlic in my dishes. And we're gonna put some salt in there. I'm just gonna pinch salt in there. It takes a fair amount. And then the last thing for right now is our apple cider vinegar. Here's our apple cider vinegar. Now, I'll probably use some of the liquid that's in the chili peppers here because we need a little more liquid in there so this will blend up. But we want to keep it on the thick side. I'm going to put about a teaspoon or so of oil in this. All right, now we're ready to blend. Now we might have to thin this out a little bit so it's a little saucier. It's pretty thick. So we can either add more of the chili um, pepper water, I'm gonna add a little more of that, or we can add just plain water, whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna add a little more of that chili pepper water. Thin it out. All right, so we're gonna add our sauce, like I said, to a saucepan, get it in there. This is a nice thickness. And to the pan, we're gonna add some butter. I'm using that Kerrygold butter. This is gonna make the sauce nice and silky smooth. So let's get this on the stove and heat it up and our chicken wings are almost done. Here's our sauce, that butter's melting into it and really making it nice. All right, so our alarm went off. Here's our chicken wings. They are looking mighty fine. They are ready to come out. They've been in there almost an hour. All right, here's our wings. Man, they smell good and they look even better. Right there. And then we got our sauce, which has been staying nice and hot on the stove. So what I'm gonna do here is look at these. Aren't these gorgeous? First of all, they look gorgeous and they don't even have the sauce on them yet. All right, so I'm gonna take some of these. I'm gonna place them in this bowl. I'm gonna add the sauce. I'm gonna toss it a little bit 
and then I'm gonna have a nice taste. All right, here we go. I'm gonna plate this up a little bit, just throw a few on the plate so you can have a look at them. I'm just gonna take this one right here if it's not too hot, not too bad. Man, these are good. The heat kind of hits you at first, and then it kind of gets subtle. It's got just the right amount. I love the flavors, guys. This is flavorful and not just hot. You're gonna love it. Mmm. Oh man, these are good. Zippity doo dah, guys. These are very delicious. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please share it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up. And of course, leave me a comment. I always love hearing from you. So thanks again. We'll see you next time. Enjoy these. Try this sauce. You're going to love it on all kinds of things. And let me know what you think. All right. See you next time.